This is a song sung by Lochandas Thaku, a great devotee of Lord Chaitanya, almost contemporary. He wrote one book, Chaitanya Mangal, depicting the activities of Lord Chaitanya. There is a very famous book, Chaitanya Mangal. And he has composed many songs, practically all Vaishnavas, they are transcendentally poetic. There is one of the twenty-six qualifications of the Vaishnava. So he says that these two lords, Nitai Gaura Chandra, uh, Lord Nityananda and Lord Gauranga or Lord Chaitanya, they are very merciful incarnation. They are essence of all incarnations. The incarnation is stated in the Bhagavad Gita that whenever there is discrepancies, in the prosecution of religiosities, and there is prominence of uh, impious activities, at that time the Lord incarnates, or He descends on this material world for protecting the pious and annihilating the impious. That is the mission of incarnation. Every incarnation will find two things. Lord Krishna is so beautiful, so kind, but he is very dangerous to the demons. The demons were seeing him as thunderbolt. And the gopis were seeing him as the most beautiful cupid. So, in the Bhagavad Gita also it is stated, The God is realized in proportion to one's freedom from the demoniac propensities. So, in this age, of course, the last incarnation, Kolki, he will simply kill. Uh, long, long after he will come. But here, Lord Chaitanya, his mission is no killing, simply favoring. Uh, that is the specific characteristic of Lord Chaitanya. Because in this age, of course, there is very much prominence of irreligiosity, but if Lord Chaitanya wanted to kill them, then there was no question of their salvation. They would be, of course, anyone who is killed by Incarnation is also get salvation, but not to the spiritual planets, but they merge into the Brahma effulgence as the impersonalist desire. In other words, the impersonalist goal of salvation is as good as the goal of salvation of the enemies of God. That is not a very difficult job. So Lord Chaitanya 
he is merciful because he is embracing everyone by bestowing a love of Krishna. Rupa Goswami has described Lord Chaitanya as the most munificent of all the incarnation because he is giving Krishna to everyone without any qualification. So Lachandas Thakur says that Parama Karuna Pahadriya Nitai Gaura Chandra, that they are a sense of all incarnation. Kivala Ananda Kanta, and their preaching process is very pleasing. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu recommends we chant Hare Krishna, dance nicely, and when you feel tired, just take rest and eat Krishna Prasad. So his formula is very pleasing. Kevala Ananda Kama. While he was present in Jagannath Puri every day in the evening, dancing was chanting and dancing continued. And after dancing is finished, he used to distribute sumptuously prasadam of Jagannath. So Many thousands of people used to assemble every night. But simply transcendentally pleasing this movement, Kevala Anandaka. Then he recommends Bhajo Bhajo Bhai Chaitanya Nitai. My dear brother, just try to worship these two lords, Chaitanya and Nityananda, Sudiva Vishasupan with faith and conviction. One should have faith in the words of Lord Chaitanya. Lord Chaitanya says that go on chanting. Simply by chanting one will get all perfection of life. So this is a fact. Unless we take to chanting we cannot realize it, but those who are chanting they are realizing that they are getting all desired perfection of life very quickly. So we should chant this mantra with faith and conviction. But the only qualification required in this connection, he says, viśaya chariya sirase majiya mukhe balo hari We have to chant with faith and conviction. At the same time, we should take care we should be guarding against sense enjoyment. Vishaya chārya. Vishaya means sense enjoyment. And chārya means give up. One should give up sense enjoyment. Of course, in this materialistic life, uh, we have got our senses and we have practiced to use them. We cannot stop it. But there is no question of stopping, but regulating it. Just like we want to eat. Vishaya means eating, sleeping, making, and defending. So these things are not forbidden altogether. But they are adjusted just to make it favorable for executing my Krishna consciousness. So we should not take, just like uh, eating, we should not eat just to satisfy the taste. We should eat only just to keep ourselves fit for executing Krishna consciousness. So eating is not stopped, but it is regulated, favorable. Similarly, mating. Mating is also not stopped. But the regulative principle is that you should marry and you should have sex life only for begetting children, Krishna conscious. Otherwise, don't do it. So everything is regulated. There is no question of stopping defense also. Arjuna was fighting, defending under the order of Krishna. So everything is there. Nothing stopped. Simply it is adjusted for executing our Krishna consciousness. Vishaya Charya. We should not accept these Vishaya, these four principles of bodily demands, namely 
eating, sleeping, making, and defending for sense gratification. No. The politicians, they fight for sense gratification. They do not see to the good of the people. For their political aggrandizement, they fight. That fight is forbidden. But when fight is necessary for defending people, that fighting should be taken. So we have to give up this principle of sense gratification or sense gratificatory process. Dako dako bhai tibhuvanenai. Then he says, just see, there is nobody else so merciful. Pasupaki jure pasana vidha. By his mercy, even the birds and bees, they are also melted. Actually, when Chaitanya Mahaprabhu passed through the forest known as Jhari Khanda in central India, he was only accompanied by his personal attendant and he was alone. And when he was passing through the forest, he touched one tiger. He was sleeping, and the tiger answered, roaring. And the, the company, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's attendant, he thought, now you are gone. But actually, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu asked the tiger, why you are sleeping? Just stand up, chant Hare Krishna. And the tiger began to dance. So actually uh, this happened when Chaitanya Mahaprabhu preached this Hare Krishna movement. The tigers, the deers, the everyone joined. So of course we are not so powerful, but it is possible that at least we have seen the dogs are dancing in Sankirtan. So it is possible also to take, but we may not attend such great risk. But Chaitanya Mahaprabhu could induce tigers to dance, we can at least induce every human being to dance. This is such a nice moment. So Pasupaki Sri Pashano Vidare. Pashana means stone. So even the stone hearted man also melts by chanting Hare Krishna that you have experienced seen. Pashana Vidare. Suni Jaro Gunogatha. Simply by hearing the transcendental pastimes and characteristics of Lord Chaitanya, even hard hearted men, they also melted. There are many instances, Javai Madhai, uh, many fallen souls, they become elevated to the highest spiritual platform. Then Lachandas Thakur says that Vishaya Mojiya Rohili Bhuli. Unfortunately, I am so much entrapped in these demands of the body or the senses uh, that. I have forgotten the lotus feet of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Vishaya Majiya Rahili Bhuliya. Sripadi Nahilu asked, I could not desire to be attached to the lotus feet of Lord Chaitanya. So why it is so? So he is lamenting that apano karama bhunjaya samana, that I am suffering the sequence of my past misdeeds that I could not be attracted by the Krishna consciousness moment. It is a punishment on me by the Jamarad, the superintendent of death. Actually, this Krishna consciousness movement, Sankirtan movement is so nice and attractive. Every simple I mean, say, unsophisticated person shall be attracted. But if one is not attracted, it is to be understood that he is being punished by the laws of uh, the superintendent of death. Anyway, 
if we stick to this principle of chanting, then even Jamaraj, the superintendent of death, he will also fail to punish. That is the verdict of Brahma Sangita. Brahma Sangita says, on who takes to this devotional life, his reaction of past deeds are adjusted immediately. So every one of us should take part in this movement of Krishna consciousness by chanting Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama.